strange set of circumstances we have witnessed over the course of the past hour or two here, seeing Jeff Jarrett arrested after assaulting a fan in ringside, taken in a police car from the impact zone and replaced by Raven. Yeah, it's a gutsy decision by the living legend Larry Zabisco, but I think it's a decision that makes sense. It's his best option. Well, I think you have to go with the lesser of two evils, and at that point, Jeff Jarrett had snapped to the point where you knew he was done with what was gonna happen. One of the most disgusting things I've ever seen until I just looked up and saw Scott Demore right here walk by. That's pretty disgusting. Yeah, but you were on the losing end, weren't you, earlier? And what about the mouth of the South? Are you worried about who he is now, Demore? I'll tell you something, when you think about this, Larry Zabisco did the right thing. What other name here in TNA is gonna get that crowd excited when they, you have to make a snap decision like that? Raven is the wild card. He really is a wild card. He's somebody that they're looking forward to seeing in that matchup. And I, I just can't believe how the circumstances came about. How about this reaction? Oh, they love this guy. For Big Lance Hoyt. It's, it's like he's theirs. This crowd, that is their guy. Lance Hoyt is right. their boy. They have fallen in love with this guy from day one. You're right. Adopted by the Impact Zone. The big man from Big D, from Dallas, Texas. He is six foot nine. He is 275 pounds. And Big Lance Hoyt is set to do battle against Bobby Roode. And when I think of Big Lance, I think back several weeks ago on Impact and the beatdown that we witnessed with Scott Demore such a big part of it on Big Lance. Remember when that, that big load grabbed the microphone and he got right in Lance Hoyt's face and then put the boots to Lance. It was disgusting, it was sickening, but now it's payback time for Lance Hoyt. I'll tell you what, when you look at Lance Hoyt in the ring, it's hard to imagine anybody having as much or more power and force that he does in the ring, but that person might be Bobby Roode because this guy, we always call him the power of Team Canada, the strength of Team Canada. He's a guy that can do it all. He's an emotional leader. You know, he's just a leader. And he's one of those guys that will find a way to beat you. And Lance Hoyt's gonna have to use everything that he's learned in this business in the short time that he's been here at TNA. He's gonna have to feed off this crowd because they are definitely in his back pocket if he wants to beat Bobby Roode. You can see by the nose to nose, stare down and face down, Lance Hoyt has that size advantage. Bobby Roode, the experience edge and the Demore factor as well. Just overpowered him, shoved him right down. Roode charges at him, Big Lance takes him up and slams him down to the mat. You know, you look at a match like this, and it's hard to wonder who has an advantage at what. I mean, you look at Lance Hoyt, you think, Whoa! wow, there's the power of him. And let me tell you something about Lance Hoyt. For a guy 6'9", he's not afraid to get on top of that rope just like an X-Division superstar would do. They're chanting for Big Lance. The chance of Hoyt, Hoyt, Hoyt is Bobby Roode, hooks the leg, drops him out to the oh, floor. Oh, nice block counter right there by Lance Hoyt. Man alive as he fired up by this crowd. Smartly, wisely. Rolls him back into the ring. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Demore, if you recall a couple of weeks ago, got right in his face with the microphone and then put the boots to Lance. But also, Lance Hoyt, no oh, come on. You know Lance Hoyt, if he gets a chance to take a shot at Demore, he'll take it. Oh, man, was that wicked. Bobby Roode took advantage oh. of the situation. Knocked Hoyt into the, the railing, and then, of course, Demore with a cheap shot that he's known for. It was just to the point where Lance had, had turned his attention back. Oh, come on. Back towards the ring, and then Bobby Roode clipped him, and Demore gets involved again. Winds him up and drives him back first into the steel. Tell you what, that's a way to break the momentum easily, and you're not as tough when two guys are beating on you like that, but it's got Demore. I just. One of these days, somehow, someway, we're gonna see him banned from ringside. That's gonna be a great day. Rude, tells referee Rudy Charles, move out of the way. And he takes Hoyt and drives him. First face first into the turnbuckle. And now he's got him positioned. Neck first, throat first across the middle rope. I'll tell you what, that just cuts off your wind right there, right on the windpipe. And then when you're trying to catch your breath, you can't worry about anything else. And look at this, he's not gonna let up. Oh, the elbow right there from Bobby Rude. Point of the elbow directly across 
the chest and up near that neck and windpipe as well. Big Lance, gonna try and get back up to his feet. He's made it up to a knee. And as soon as he does, Bobby Roode's ready. Rocks nice him on the right, Lance right there fights back. Lance. I'll tell you what, this guy, look at this, another nice block. And I love the whack back that he just keeps going at it. Doesn't let up. But Bobby Roode, again, is one of those guys that every time you see him in the ring, you can't help but be impressed. He can beat you so many oh. ways. Great follow-up move here. He goes to whip him off into the ropes. But just as Lance is going to spring back off the ropes, catches him with the knee, oh. and then it goes right to a move like a backdrop suplex. You catch him from the front, you catch him from the back, and just prior to that, he was taking his wind away. That's a, that's a perfect multifaceted, multi-pronged offensive attack from Bobby Roode. You know, Bobby Roode is one of those guys that one day we're going to see him make a run for the title. One day, Demore right. is going to turn him loose. He's going to make a run for that title. That guy has got so much. But Lance Hoyt, somebody that we've watched grow in this company, and I don't mean literally, I mean figuratively. And just the fact that the crowd here has, has adopted him and seen it too, and they know the potential that this big guy has. Of course, Lance in TNA, a former NWA World Tag Team Champion. But Bobby Roode here is really putting the full court press on Lance Hoyt. We talked about Big Lance being a former tag champ. There's nobody for Lance Hoyt to tag in. You're on your own, big boy. I'll tell you what, it's mano a mano out there. They're very, very similar in styles. It's Bobby Roode right here going up top. Gonna try to get a little momentum. Lance Hoyt, though, great move on his part. Sees it happening, he knows he's gotta act quickly, and he does. And now he's got Bobby Roode where he wants him. And Bobby Roode, you can tell he knows oh! he's in no man's land. What a shot right there by Lance Hoyt. Fires him, three quarters of the way across the ring. Charges at him, series of running clotheslines take down Roode. Now Roode shot off into the ropes, Lance takes him up. Oh, great move right there, and he just face plants him right there on the mat. In the corner, Lance gonna go for the corner mount. Let's, let's let him count along. Lay in those rights, big man. Drop. It, it didn't phase him. Oh, oh and Bobby Roode right there. Is, oh, but he's got him. He's got he's him. Got right here, the choke slam. Yes, oh. he slams him down. Powers him down with the choke slam. Oh, Demore up on the apron again. Get him the hell out of here. I'm going to tell you something. Lance Hoyt right now is feeding off of this crowd when he hears the words Hoyt. Hoyt, oh. Hoyt. As here he goes. Oh, wait a minute. The referee's distracted him. You can see Demore knows that he could finish him. He's going for the oh. moonsault, but instead no, he oh, can't pull the power in. bomb. Pin, One, two, two. No, oh. he kicks out of it. Way to go. Demore hooked Lance Hoyt. Six foot nine, Lance Hoyt was going to go for the moonsault. You that just... enabled Bobby Roode. Oh, oh, cut the come power on. bomb. Not the Rudy hockey Joe, stack. You better stop this. And he did. Pull that hockey How stick. much interference can we get from Team Canada? But look at this, Lance Hoyt sizing him up. Oh, he's got him. That's what he needed right there. Goozled him, powered him down. He's got that big boot that he's so famous for. Just setting he's him up. In. If he gets to his feet, he's gonna charge at him. Rude up to a knee. Billy, look at that, he can hear the... Oh, 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 oh. He's got Down him there. There. Don't turn your back on Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, but he got him from behind! More than one oh, in! Two! No, that's just wrong! That stinks! He turned that his gun on him! That stinks to hell! Now, how much of this are we going to take around here? I'm so sick and tired of that big load! I am sick of it, and somebody's got to do something about it. Larry Zabisco, if you are listening, the time is now to cut off Team Canada and to stop this Scott Gamora. Man, this crowd's electric. I sent a message out a few weeks ago on Impact, and Lance Hoyt, I said you learn a very painful lesson, my friend. 
and school's not out yet. Get him, Bobby! Oh, this is deja vu all over again. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, you come beat the on. man, come and on. now the post-match beatdown continues. Oh, this is just absolutely Get wrong. Get him, Bobby! Teach him! Teach all of them! Somebody's got to come out here and stop this. This Bobby Roode is just taking advantage of the situation. DeVore egging him on. Ahoy! What do you think about that, huh? Come on, Lance! Huh? Huh? Oh, this is, oh, sick. This is just absolutely sick! Oh, and oh, oh, got him! Got him! Oh, oh, you can see right there. Oh, you just want the boy to give him one good slam. Just wasn't enough. Oh, I thought we were gonna get some payback on Demore. Just what it oh, now we gotta put up with this again. Now what? Oh, what's he doing? The divorce taking his watch off? Taking his glasses off? Glasses? No. Oh, I hope that's all he's taking off. Bobby Roode is not want to see anything else. Oh, oh no. On. Oh, this could be one of the worst oh. moments in TNA history. Yeah, we voted for the greatest moments. He's going to go for a moonsault. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> he missed it. Look at that whale flop around. The ring still standing. There's the big boot. There it is. Point, point, point. They're chanting oh, the out of there. Get him. Get him, big Lance. There's nowhere to run to more. He's There's no way to hide. You're trying, trying to, to get out of the ring. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. That is the worst moment in TNA history. Get the camera off of that. Children, you got to leave the room. That, that just proves that crack kills. Look out! Take him up, big man! Oh, Choke slam! Listen to this crowd! Do it! Do it! Don't stop now! Send this big one! Send him Here back! Go. Send him back to the way to the top! Send him back to winter! As a move! Canadians! Lance Hoyt wisely realizes the number game's too much right here. But what great was it to see him get the revenge? Mike, I just got so caught up in it, I couldn't stand it. Finally, is are they bringing out a stretcher for the war? I'm gonna be a reinforced stretcher. Yeah, you're not kidding. Wait a minute, let's take a look. I don't know if that's gonna hold 300 pounds or not. 300 pounds? Yeah, I'm sorry, you being right. generous. That's about a... That's about 350 pounds worth of Canadian back bacon that they need to cart out of the six-sided ring and cart him out of the impact zone. Children right now are getting scarred for life having a look at this. That's disgusting. And they can't, I don't even know they, I don't even know they got enough room to get the cord around it. EMTs have come out. You can see the concern from Team Canada because their boss is being put on the stretcher. Well, Scott Demore, next stop, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Let's hope.